When you first load FilterStorm and go to export an image using the export button here, you have these two options, photo library and email. You can send to one or both by checking them. But FilterStorm also supports FTP, Dropbox, and Flickr, which we can add by using this plus button here. So you can give it a name up here. And then you have all these options for files to send. So if you, for example, turn original image and final version large on, this will send to email or to FTP, whatever you choose. Uh, let's choose FTP. Uh, this will send the original image un unchanged, and it will also uh, process the image as large as it can and send that along too. We also have this thing called the working image. Uh, the working image is actually the image that you see while you're editing. Uh, it's a smaller image than the large image, but if you turn that on, and only that one, uh, it won't have to reprocess the image when you send it. So if you don't need something as big, you can just turn this one on and uh, send it and it'll make your exporting faster. You can also export the automation, uh, which is a record of all the changes you made to the image. Um, and then you can use the automation later to uh, apply to other images. You can also, if you, actually let's go back to FTP for a second. If you tap here, you get the address information. You don't need to put in a folder if it's just the root, uh, your username and password. Uh, if we go to Flickr, use this login button to uh, bring you to Flickr's website where you have to log in, then it'll bring you back. You can have your images default to being public or not. And with Dropbox, you can link the account and give it a folder to send to. So once you've made your new destination, you can just check it, and now I can email an FTP or whatever when I hit the export button.